Next up is testing the alternator for AC current output. What I did was unplug the three AC windings, you can see the connectors here, and run a, well, an AC voltmeter, unfortunately 200 AC volts is the lowest setting I've got, it's a small unit, but it'll have to do. Hook this multimeter to each of two windings, uh, like one and three, one and two, and ultimately two and three, to check for output. Uh, ideally, just over tick over rate, I should get about 13 volts AC. I was led to believe that I might have a weird gremlin in the charging system that affects my ignition. Um, as you know, I lose spark the instant my generator light goes out, so there might be something there. Anyway, I have reason to suspect the regulator wiring to be bad, so I hooked up a separate independent DF line coming all the way through uh, from the battery, but running through a 21 watt 12 volt bulb. This way I'll magnetize the rotor but bypass the regulator circuit. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I won't blow up and neither will I burn anything. Fuel on. Let's go out with a bang. Okay. I'm going to plug the DF line. It's a bit weird with one hand working on electrical connections but what are you going to do? Okay, DF line on, just to prove it's wired correctly. I'll show you that my rotor is indeed magnetized. It attracts my screwdriver. So, let's fire it up. Let's try to rev it up a bit. Oh. All right, we're good. Next one. Okay, switching the connectors. Hang on. Okay, let's fire it up again. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Accidentally hit the kill switch. So, getting the same values. Now, the last pair should be two and three. Right there. Okay. Fire it up again. So, windings are good, we're getting AC, problem is not here.